Hello? Hello? Um, yes, I was calling you about the uh, clown work. Okay. Um, yes, I was wondering, I saw the ad here, it said you do um, balloons and, and stuff. Yes. What else do you do? You mean will we do it or what do we teach? Oh, you teach it? I own the Houston Clown School. Oh, you own the Houston Clown School? Yeah, and I train people to do magic shows, to do balloon parties, to do face painting. All the skills, 136 ways to make money as a clown. And we also go out and do parties. I go out and do parties. If it's on my side of town and there's 15 kids or less, sure, $150 for an hour. Okay, now, how big are the balloons that you have? Like, what's the biggest balloon that you have? What the hell are you talking about? Like, the balloons that you do, the balloon animals? Yeah. Well, well what, what do you want, a dinosaur that walks? No, I was wondering, like, um, I, one of my friends, uh, Philip, he, he does artwork where we actually have a, a gerbil and we put them into the balloon and uh, it kind of runs around in the balloon, but that's why I was wondering, like, how sturdy it is. Well, those are, those are special made clear white balloons. Uh, oh, that's clear. perfect. Yeah, and, and I, I, you just go pick those up at the supply house. You don't get it for me. Well, I'll tell you what's been happening, actually. He's been losing a lot of gerbils lately, and he's been trying to put the gerbil into the balloon so that when he sticks it into his ass, he can pull the balloon out, and the gerbil comes with it. Otherwise, he's been losing quite a few of them. So if you have, like, the sturdy, like, if you can, can I order those? Like, you can... I don't sell you balloons, sir. Oh, you don't sell the balloons, but you I'm have... I'm in the wholesale business. I'm in the show business. Oh, okay. Now you got it. Well, could you do a show like that? Like, could you no, not, blow the balloon up, stick the dribble not, in? I'm not going to either. Or, well, you I said... don't do shows with animals. I'm not going to carry a million-dollar policy. Oh, okay, so it'd be a larger insurance policy for the animals in the show. Well, I would certainly hope so. If your balloon breaks and your dribble goes flying out and hits some lady in the face, it's going to cost you more than you've ever made. Well, I mean, the only way that the, the balloon would break and the dribble would go flying in some lady's face is if Philip had a lot of gas that night. Now, I've been trying to curb it back his diet, First so... First of all, you aren't going to put a gerbil in the balloon with gas. You're going to kill it the minute you do it. Now, you haven't really looked this end up very good, have you? You know, you, well, you, no, what you, I mean, you put air in with the balloon. In the yeah. Of the, uh, if you right. have helium, you're going to kill them. Oh, you mean helium inside the balloon? No, I was like blowing it up with you like your own, you know, like air instead of helium. Your own breath? Well, I don't think it's very gaseous. Okay, don't well, you think that Charlie Sheen has an incredible ass? Like, just don't, don't you want to, like, crawl up and... Are you a clown or a joker or what are you doing? Are you, I mean, are you no, you teach clown the clown work. You want to... Well, then what are you calling me for? Well, I'm not a clown, sir. I mean, I dress well, up in costumes, but not a clown for, suit. Sir. What are you calling me for? Well, I was wondering if you are able to blow the balloons up so we could get the gerbil in the balloon. I'm not going to do it, okay? And then... I'm not going to be involved in the insurance policy. Well, could I just pick up balloons that are already blown up by you and use them that way? And then, and then what? Unblow them and put the gerbil inside? Yeah, you blow them up. I put the gerbil inside, stuff the balloon and gerbil in Philip's ass. You're outside of reality, sir. You can buy those very balloons at Balloon and Novelty on La Branch. On La Branch. They can blow them up with air for you, or they can blow them up with helium. Or they get blow up with nitrous oxide. I don't see Well, that. I thought maybe, you know, because you teach the clown work, you get the gerbil in a better mood and get him all excited for when he oh, goes yeah. into the ass. Because the more excited he is, the better it is. Like, if you could do a show for the gerbil before he goes into Philip's ass. Yeah. 